Welcome to the fourth section of our course. In this section, we will learn how to manage and monitor Spring App in cloud with Actuator. So first, you'll be adding Micrometer and Actuator library to Spring Boot App. Then next step will be to understand types of metrics available in Micrometer. Once we've done that, we'll be creating logic that is measured with Micrometer. In the video number four, we'll be exposing those metrics via Spring Prometheus library. And finally, we'll see how to measure application metrics of percentiles and response times. So this is the first video in which we'll be adding Micrometer and Actuator library to Spring Boot app. So we'll be adding Micrometer dependency, we'll be adding Actuator and configuring Actuator. So before we start, we need to add those needed dependencies. So in the pond.xml, you need to add Actuator. That is a project exposing our endpoints that will be used to diagnose our application. So how to configure it? So in the resource folder in your production service, you need to have an application.yam file. Then you have a management section that is used for actuator. So there is a lot of information that we need to expose here. So let's go one after another. So first you are specifying that everything should be exposed under base path. That is just a slash. We are specifying that everything that actuator is exposing, we want to expose as well. So security should not apply for them. And also we want to add the default health check to our health check endpoints. Then we are specifying which one we should expose. So we want to expose info endpoint, health endpoint and metrics. We don't want to expose metrics to Atlas library and we want to have it available in our application without security at all. So we want to expose those management endpoints without going into security details and so on. So if you will start your application, you will see that your, for example, health check endpoint will be available. We need to wait until it start. And once it started, you can go to the application health. So this is an endpoint that will give you some status checks. For example, you will have a disk space check, you will have a database check, refresh scope and history. We will get back to those in a later moment in this course, but you need to know that those endpoints are available. Also, you will have a status endpoint here, but it is available through application info. You don't have any information exposed here, but you can add them as you wish. 